Welcome back to O'Malley Field. CMU falling today to Benedictine 21-14. And now we're joined by head coach Jody Ford. And uh, Coach, another tough loss. Uh, I know you're getting sick of it, but <laughs> your thoughts on the game overall today? Yeah, you know it does. It's getting old. But gosh, I mean, our kids are fighting through a lot of things. And how about the fourth string quarterback today? Yeah. He did all right, didn't he? So I was really proud of that because I didn't know what I was going to get out of that deal. And he stepped up and did a nice job today. And, and uh, but yeah, we just keep coming up short. I feel I really hate it for our seniors. You know, I think that's the really tough thing because those kids have just sacrificed so much for our program, but uh, just didn't work out for us today. Well, that's a good segue to my next question. Was talking about Jackson. Not only did he play pretty well, he actually almost doubled your guys' average passing yards per game today. And, you know, for a kid that at the beginning of the season didn't think he would get anywhere near some playing time started a game and really played pretty well today you know what's funny is he played today and and if you really want to go watch him play again he plays again on monday night in our jv game so <laughs> you can go watch him a couple times if you'd like but yeah he did a great job today now you guys were trailing 14 nothing at halftime but were able to come back and you actually won the second half 14 to 7 talk a little bit about your team's resiliency even though they continue to just come up on the short end, but they get up every week and they come out and play hard. Well, that's the thing I really take pride in. I mean, eventually we're going to get to the point where we win these games. And, uh, you know, we just we got to keep firing. And we're trying to add weapons, you know. I mean, I was really pleased that Jamal Williams kind of got going a little bit today. And we had some different guys touch the ball. I know uh, Cody Mayer had a few opportunities to carry the football and catch the ball. And, and then, uh, it, you know, just seeing our passing game come alive a little bit more and Jacob doing a nice job being smart with the ball because – uh, you know, you always worry about the interceptions and everything. And man, he took care of the ball and did a nice job with it. And and uh, so I was really proud proud of those guys. And then defensively too. I mean, again, we just we've got to do a better job on the receivers. I think we gave up a big play on one, and then there was a turnover. I think they scored off of, but we were fortunate to score off one of their turnovers as well. So it was just it's a typical football game. You never know how it's going to go and how it's going to bounce. And it just didn't work out for us today. But uh, I am very proud of the kids. Man, they came out swinging. Now, one of your guys on offense that has been able to continue to stay healthy is Burton Yosef, and he just ran like a man on fire today. Even when he wasn't gaining many yards, he was laying the wood to some defenders. Talk about his play and the energy that he was able to bring to your offense today. Well, Burton's doing a great job, and he's not fresh. I mean, he's got some little knick-knack injuries and different things as well, so uh, it, it's a deal where he, you know, he's still pay, playing through a lot of the injuries and a lot of the different stuff, but uh, he, you know, he does a great job. He's a leader on our team. I mean, our guys go kind of as Burton goes, and and uh, they respond to him. And and uh, and he's he's he is he's our uh, motivational guy. He gets us all going. And when he's running the ball and things are going well, uh, you know, things we're, things go really good for us. And uh, but again, we've got to add more weapons with him. And I think we did a little better job of that today. Um, and we just we we're gonna get there. It's gonna happen. Didn't happen this week, but we're working on it. Now, Benedictine comes in averaging 49 points a game. You guys held them to 21. It, that Even in the loss, that's an accomplishment for your defense. Yeah, it's just it, it's one of those things where uh, we've got to play consistent week in and week out. I mean, this is what our team's capable of, and our team is very capable of being a playoff team and being a conference championship caliber team. And right now it stinks because, uh, you know, our record doesn't show that. And we just we keep uh, getting close and coming up short and – and, uh, and we are. We're playing through our share of injuries and those things. I mean, we obviously losing three quarterbacks and, and uh, <laughs> different other positions and stuff too. But uh, I'm not going to make any excuses. We're going to go at it, and we're going to go for a win. And, and, uh, and it's the same thing every week. We're, we're going to play. This conference is the best conference in the country in small college football. Nobody is an easy one. Everybody's good. And uh, we got to come out swinging every week, and eventually we're going to be the ones that get on top. But we're learning, and the kids keep learning from it. They're going to see good things come to them. And you've still got some time to continue learning. You know, we're kind of moving through the middle part of the season. We're heading towards the schedule, starting to wind down. What is your message to your team now moving forward as uh, we kind of are facing the last few games now? Well, my top message is play for these seniors. I mean, these seniors that we have, they've, they've sacrificed so much for us. And uh, I want to make sure that, you know, they only have four weeks, four games left in their career. And uh, I want to make sure that we send them out with some great memories and, and uh, make sure that we keep playing our tail off. So I, I love that. I feel like our kids play for them, you know, and, and I love that. I think our kids are great kids and our seniors especially are great people. Um, and then the, the second message is, you know, the competition aspect. I mean, you have to compete. You're always being evaluated. And if you're not competing or working or doing what you need to do, you will be replaced, whether it's this year, whether it's next year, whenever it is competition you are going to be replaced so every week every day is an evaluation 
And uh, if you have a poor evaluation, we could go out and recruit, and you may not, you know, you may be playing now. You may be lucky if you get to play the next season or something. So that's the big message is they've got to, every week's a test, and they've got to show that they belong. Otherwise, they're going to be replaced. All right, Coach Ford, thank you for coming up and spending some time with us, and good luck moving forward. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the coverage. And, uh, again, I want to say hi to John Michael uh, back home in, in uh, Harrisburg, recovering from that spine surgery, and, and uh, John Gilman there. And you guys are great. Hope to see you guys at practice soon, and we sure do miss you guys.